If there's one name equivalent to Mother Nature, survival, and to just being a man in general, it's Roy Patterson. And you can catch Roy in his all-new show, Surviving Man, the second best show on television to feature a guy with his own handheld camera to take you out into the wild and teach you something along the way about surviving the animals and mother nature. This week's episode, I'm taking you all around Chester, New Jersey, home to some of the greatest wild I've ever seen, and also home to some of the biggest and meanest animals. One of those beasts is a ferocious white-tailed deer. Smart animal that calls this place home is the North American gray squirrel. This beast is evil. It's gonna be a good show. Now let's go about this smart and have a good time and we'll see you at the end. Here we are at the Evans Family Nature Preserve. Judging by the hunting log that's just behind me, I'd say there's some pretty mean beasts in these woods. Let's go have a look, eh? Well, you gotta be careful for these buggers. They're quick, and I believe they're poisonous. They can shoot at you from 10 feet or more. Oh, he looks mean, huh? Just throw some nice, nice leaves, some nice shrubbery right over those branches. And you've got yourself a nice roof. You crawl under there, you'll be good for a couple of days. Oi, I spent weeks and something not even as nice as that. I'm going downhill right now and I'm looking for water. One of the keys to survival is having water. If you haven't seen or uh, read the book Hunger Games, they weren't far off. The reason I'm whispering. So I'm sure I'm not the only guy around here looking for some good fresh water to drink. There's probably some deer now just watching me white in the pants. Here we are on some sort of bridge structure in the middle of nowhere. This is nuts. I'm thinking this is really old. Would you look at these massive fans? Oh, I feel like I'm in the Jurassic period. Jurassic Park. Like this here is a sign for the white-tailed deer. It's attention. White-tailed deer everywhere here. So leave. Here we are in the beautiful Chubb Park in Chester. Home, some great baseball, some pee-wee t-ball, some great soccer. But it's also home to the Chubb Park Lake Monster. Yeah. No sign of him yet. I'm gonna stick around for a bit, see if we see him. Not, then we don't see him. It's this is what nature really happens. You got all the ants and bugs in there, and they're just totally disconnected from the world you know. So, if you really want to learn about nature, sometimes I just lay down in the grass and just watch. This is what evil is bred. This here's a flag I found in the ground, and this is a perfect survival tool. My life was saved by a razor blade, it was unbelievable. It caught just enough of sunlight that I caught it into a pilot's eye, 3,000 feet in the air. And he saw it, and he was like, oi, what's this thing in my eye? Oi, there's a person down there. Thanks a lot for tuning in to this week's adventure in Chester. So until next week, all still a vista, have a slice of pizza. <laughs>